Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Okay, I am trying to uh, finish up, refresh, all that good stuff with these videos. Okay, so this one is about gradients. Alright. So I can pull up this heart. Okay. I can come, oops. I can come over here to the color palette while that's highlighted I can click the drop down box and I can add gradient here okay over here you can change how that gradient looks by slicing through it okay like that all right but if you want to change the colors and stuff all right this is where you do it all right you can see I have these saved. Well, how in the heck do you get it to have all those colors, right? If you're on my Facebook page, which I highly recommend because that's where I can actually help you. I do not get to YouTube. I apologize, but we're just so busy over there uh, on the Facebook page. I don't have time. So how do you get it to look like this? Well, actually, let's undo, undo, okay? Let's come back in here. So click on that box. See these arrows right here? Click that. That little line that comes up. Then you have this color. Oh, looky there. Let's select that. Okay. See what happens. All right. So there's that. Click OK. Let's see. Oh, it made it all pink. Okay. Well, let's come about right here. Let's double click. Aha, that brings up another color. Let's make that. Let's try green. Okay. Let's add a color here. Let's make that. Let's make it a mint. Okay. Let's add a color. Let's go about right here. There's the line. Okay. And let's add like a periwinkle okay and let's add a color here okay what color should we make this I have no idea let's make it a little yellow let's see what that looks like okay now this one let's see let's do it let's do it darker blue okay see what that looks like uh, that's okay let's bring this one down here drop that one let's move this one over so I'm just clicking and holding and dragging okay so this is how I can rearrange my colors if I want to if I'm not happy with how it looks okay so there's that you can reverse it okay this is the linear and you can do the circles okay which that's what it will look like there so let's click OK there you go that is how you work with the gradients this way okay so you can add as many colors in there as you like if you like the way that looks you can click add preset you can name it whatever you want you can do a circle let's see rainbow all right oh well, there we go helps if i know how to spell huh all right so i'll click ok now if i come back here and i pull this up okay my presets they are all saved and yes they do save okay so um, I've had this I've shut it down I've restarted my computer and those all do save all right um, but that's how you can change okay so now let's go cut through here all right oh I did that wrong you know sometimes this is the one I wanted sorry guys don't use the knife you know the knife that will always change it so now when I do this, I can get just the most beautiful colors. But understand, the only time this will come up 
is if you export it as an image file or if you print this, okay? Otherwise, if you export it as your FCM or an SVG, this color has no meaning and it will not show, okay? So let's come here to our preview. You see the cut lines, nothing. The draw lines, nothing. You show printable. Okay, let's see. Print and cut registration. Let's take all this off. Okay. Your printable, it will not show as a printable. What I have to do is I have to come up here. I have to file. Export it. So we're going to export this. Um, let me see. Let me bring this up here. Yep, well, I'm going to go ahead and save it in my Facebook page files. I'm going to save it as a PNG. We'll do heart. Okay, all right. Because I save this as an image file and I want to print this, I cannot import it and I cannot trace it because I want to print it. We're going to come up here to file, place image. Anytime you want to print something, do not try to import it or trace it. Go to place image. Okay, so let's pull this right here, heart. And wait for it to work, and there it is. Okay. Oy, yay, yay. Okay, so let me get rid of this one. Actually, no, let me keep that because I want to show you. You can see there are different sizes, so I'm going to need to resize that. Let's come up here to our preview. There you go. Show printable. The original one that was not saved as an image, okay, does not give me the printable. To get my printable, I saved it as an image file, PNG. I exported it as a PNG. Then I went up here to file, clicked place image, and that was the image that was placed, okay? So now, let's see, let's delete this. Okay, you see, and you could tell that this is a place image because of this huge border that comes around here. Okay, so I am going to, I can actually leave it like that if I wanted. Okay, and remember, I have this crazy idea that I need to edit this to remove that, right? No, no, no. This is what happens. You try to edit this in any way, shape, or form, and it should all turn gray. Okay? Wait for that to work. The only way you can edit a place image is size only. If you try to erase, cut, anything like that, it's all going to turn gray and ruin it. All right? Maybe if it ever decides to work. <laughs> Come on. There. That's exactly what will happen. Okay? You cannot do any of the editing of that place image okay so this is okay because you're going to send this to your printer it's not going to be sent to the scan and cut this will print out on your printer then you can uh, check out the uh, printable videos that I have that shows you how you can actually capture this as a cut file so you highlight that you click trace right there it is okay actually do monochrome there is your cut file okay so you've printed this then you capture your cut file if you cannot capture your cut file for some reason you can actually go in uh, after you print that you can use your acetate capture it uh, with an acetate trace and you're done but please watch the videos to see how I do it this is such a cool uh, feature about owning sure cuts a lot uh, and using it with your scan and cut you can literally do anything all right guys but I really wanted to show you this awesome uh, feature using the gradient and how you can uh, get any kind of cool color all right guys have a good day